Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today we are doing a hair video. I haven't done a hair video since when we did the hair care challenge, which was actually a shorts, and it was just using the Chi hair serum, and that was barely, you know, that was like 20 seconds long. Anyways, today we're doing a new product video that I am insanely excited about because I've been asking Avon for years for a dry shampoo. I have been looking forward to this dry shampoo for a while. The demos weren't available for a while, and so that's why we had to wait, and then I got them, and then life got busy, and so finally here I am with the dry shampoo. So I did order two different ones for you from Avon. Um, this is the Elastin Restore and Detox line. So this one's in Igmatic Dark, and this one is Incredible Invisible. So I wanted to try out both because I figured that with the way, well, some people dye their hair for one thing, and the other thing is, what if I get white? White hairs then what do I do I figured you know what let's give this a try it's supposed to be really really easy to use and so what happens is that the products they are uh, created exactly the same except for this one has some color in it and this one does not I figured that this would probably be someone with like you know like silver hair or blonde or very light hair and this would be for people like me, I have darker hair. Uh oh, unless I got one that was too dark. It does come in three different shades, which includes the darkest one, which is the Ig... Ig I can't pronounce it, gosh. Igmatic Dark. And then there is a Fearless Brunette, I love that name, as well as the Incredible Invisible. So why do you use dry shampoo? So dry shampoo is something I wish I had during my crazy dance days where I could just spray it in my hair after teaching dance and not feel like my head stinks because you know what? I sweat a lot through my hair and lately after having Nathaniel, um, my scalp is like uber oily so i'm hoping that these will actually help that because i also have fluffier ends if you can see i didn't put anything in my hair yet i have fluffier ends and so i get this beautiful poodly effect <laughs> but then it my the scalp of my head just weighs down and i'm so hoping that this will help give it some life and give it some lift i don't wash my hair every day because i mean like i say i do have drier ends and i don't want to wash my hair every day plus i don't have time to wash my hair every day guys uh it's kind of tmi but that is the truth of it it's been a day or so since i've washed my hair and i figured you know what I'm showering tonight, but I wanted to give this a try to show you guys. So here we are. So what this does is it reduces the need to wash your hair as often. That means less hair washes, less stripping of your hair's natural oils and moisture. So that is a bonus. Another thing is it's supposed to extend the life of blow dries and styles. So that's also very beneficial because that way your work that you've done to your hair the day before can extend longer which is a good thing. The other thing is that it also, this one is not supposed to leave any white residue and the fact that it comes like this, it's supposed to be easy, easy peasy to apply. Another group of people that this might be good for is people who can't wash their hair right away, right? So <laughs> in the Asian culture, specifically Chinese culture, from what I understand, um, after you have a baby, you're not supposed to shower for something like a month. I know. Trust me, I didn't do that. However, you're not supposed to shower for a very long time until things heal up because you don't want to bring moisture into your bones and therefore make you sick. My mom said that it's probably because back in those days, it um, there wasn't like readily heat available in the homes and so therefore you could easily catch a chill. Your body just went through all this trauma giving birth to a beautiful baby. And so you want to do the best that you can to take care of yourself so you don't get sick because you still got to care of this newborn baby that's crying for you like 24-7. I remember those days. It's getting better. It's getting better. He's sleeping a lot better at night, so yay. This would have been handy for my mom. I showered before I left the hospital, so <laughs> doesn't apply to me. However, this would have come in handy on the uh, sometimes a week in between showers because I did not have time because I had a screaming child constantly. If you plan on, you know, refraining from washing your hair and showering, then after you have a baby, then this is probably good for you. The other thing is, in our culture, there's also specific holidays where you cannot wash your hair, such as Chinese New Year's Day. We're not allowed to wash our hair. Actually, technically, 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 it's Lunar New Year's and not Chinese New Year's. So anyways, on New Year, Lunar, New Year, Lunar, 
on Lunar New Year's Day, we're not allowed to wash our hair, so that would have been handy too. I just didn't have it yet at that time. So what is this formulated with? So this is formulated with two key ingredients, which is charcoal powder, which helps to absorb oil and to eliminate odors in your hair. I don't smell too bad right now, but I can definitely feel the grease coming through, as well as white tea powder to help soothe the scalp. So I did a little bit more digging on white tea powder. White tea powder is really interesting because it helps to also, like they said, soothe the scalp. So it helps to uh, with irritated scalps, which I do tend to have because I don't know, like once I got pregnant with Nathaniel, I just developed a lot of like stuff in my hair. Like it just got a lot oilier. I've been getting like scalp pimples. It's toned down a lot, a, a lot, but I still feel it every now and then, like one or two popping out, especially when it gets close to my period. Like I have one like right here right now. So ugh. They hurt. Like. But also, interesting thing is that according to peishao.com, uh, white tea also is a strong anti-inflammatory, so it helps soothe the scalp and helps with irritation, like we just mentioned. But it's also the ingredients in tea also helps to remove dead skin cells that can block hair follicles and leave them clog. So that's great news for people who have dandruff or itchy scalps. The other thing to note is that did you know why why should you use a dry shampoo? So in addition to the reason of using a dry shampoo for the sake of like prolonging the lifespan of your style and blowout, this is according to healthline.com, because your scalp is covered in hair follicles and the follicles they don't just go with hair, they also produce sebum, which is kind of like the natural oil. It's kind of like in the nose area, how you get like so that's sebum. Sebum is, serves an important purpose. It softens your hairs and helps to prevent the skin underneath it. But if you're working up a sweat, like I do when I dance, or you're spending a lot of time outside or even going about day to day, the oil and sweat from your scalp, it does collect in your hair. So I taught dance yesterday morning and then I did a bunch of cleaning and oh, wow, I have a really bright white hair there. Having some oil on your scalp is a good thing. It's healthy and normal. But if there is a buildup, what happens is it's gonna feel and look greasy like this right now. Washing your hair actually isn't good for your, your scalp health every day because like I say, it does strip up this natural oil. So therefore, dry shampoo comes to the rescue. The ingredients in the dry shampoo is supposed to use to soak up the oils and sweat from your hair. It removes the oils from your hair to make it a, a to make it appear cleaner. And then also some dry shampoos include a fragrance, which makes your hair smell fresh between washes. I don't know if this has any fragrance, so we're gonna find out. It's important to note though, dry shampoo isn't meant for cleansing your hair. So you do still wanna wash your hair, guys, or else you probably will have a buildup of dry shampoo, and which can, again, lead to a dry itchy scalp. So, I mean, still wash your hair as normal, but if you need a pick-me-up or if you're in a crazy rush, then these come in handy. It's really interesting though, because apparently a lot of dry shampoos, other brands, they leave your hair looking flaky when you spray on your scalp because it, does, it doesn't it does have a color. Um, so you, if you do have darker hair such as me, you might, you want, you're gonna wanna sh buy a dry shampoo that is suitable for your hair color. Let's do it. All this says to do is to shake it well before you spray onto roots about eight to 10 inches from your hair and then massage with fingers, leave it in for one or two minutes, then brush and style for usual beautiful and refreshed hair. All right, let's do this. Spray, massage, wait, brush and style. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do one side with the dark and the other side with the um, invisible. So I'll start with the dark side here. First thing to do is to shake it well. So I am shaky, shaky, shaky. So see how there's no lift and then all there is is poof? Yeah, that's the story of my hair constantly. But I mean, this helps tame it a lot. I've been using this um, as well as the thermal spray a lot of times because I've been so busy. All I've been doing is whipping it up into a, a messy mom bun. All right. Right now I smell nothing. Here it is. So it is a spray nozzle, kind of like just regular hairspray. That was intense. Oh, I do a smell. Well. Okay. So there definitely is a scent. It was a bit shocking. I think I just over sprayed it a little bit on my head. Okay. So that's that side. That's the dark side. 
It's not an unpleasant scent. Here is the invisible. Yeah, they smell exactly the same. Then I'm supposed to massage it into my scalp. I feel like I need to spray some more like down here. I almost feel like like my oilier areas. Wow, it dries like really fast. Okay, so now I'm supposed to let it dry. Oh, the scent dissipated already. I think the initial shock of the scent was like, oh my gosh, wow, it's really powerful. But after it kind of dissipates a little bit, it's fine. It's very light. But I think maybe I also overdid it with the first spritz because I was using my left hand too because I didn't want to like cover the camera. Ah! Like it was like, oh, and I was like, oh my god, it's it's kind of cool. The feeling, it has a bit of a cool feeling. Very like right on the get-go and then you don't really feel much anymore. I have to say I'm very impressed. I do not see any coloration at all on the invisible side. So that's good. It doesn't look flaky or like leaving a white residue, which is nice. I'm going to do a little bit more down here. Now, if this helps me get rid of scalp pimples, oh my goodness, that'd be amazing. Did you know, fun fact, your skin on your scalp actually ages 12 times faster than the skin on your body and six times faster than the skin on your face. You know what? I think it's partially because we don't take care of our scalps nearly as much as we take care of the skin on our face and our bodies. If you are finding that your hair is growing very slowly, it could be because the skin on your scalp isn't as healthy because the normal hair growth on normal scalp is roughly 1.25 cms per month. However, on aging scalp, the speed of hair growth might slow down to an estimated 80% but grow as little as 0.25 cms per month. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so I have it sprayed. I think it's dry. And now I'm going to style my hair. And this, by combing it out too, what's it's gonna do, guys, I think, it's going to evenly distribute it even more throughout your scalp and hair. Okay, and there we go. That's it. I think there's a little bit more lift. It does feel like there's a little bit more lift. Does it feel less greasy? A little bit actually. I might have done it better on this side or there's less hair on this side, but this side definitely I feel a huge difference more so than this side. I might actually have to lift this hair up a little bit and apply a little bit more throughout my scalp line here, like how I kind of did that. So just a little bit more because this side definitely does feel a little bit greasier than this side. This side actually feels pretty good. Yeah. So if you're in a time pinch, this might be a good time saver for you. So over time, this is supposed to also make my scalp healthier because of the charcoal extract and also because of the white tea extract which is supposed to soothe my skin, which will be good. I don't think I even need to style anymore. Maybe just a little serum on my ends. And then we're set. <laughs> my hair is so uneven because my husband cut my hair. <laughs> the salons are closed. My husband gave me a haircut a while back. I love you, boo, but it's... I miss my stylist. <laughs> Overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Yeah, like this side here feels really good. Like a huge difference. Yeah, ooh. So I'm gonna be testing this out for a while. It is now going to go on my vanity here so that I can just easily reach for it in the morning so that I don't have time to wash my hair. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Do you dry shampoo? So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in opening up your own online Avon business where you are fashioned with your own online link so that you can sell Avon coast to coast all across Canada, make sure you go to the description box below, click that link, and then click join Avon. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I do have new videos out every single week, usually on Monday, Fridays, and every now and then I've been posting up a bonus video. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. And if you enjoyed this video, show some love. Give me a thumbs up.